That's, that's off of a shoulder press. It wasn't even burpees or anything. <sighs> Hello everyone, we are back for workout 16. We all just came from the barbell challenge. What does everyone think? My forearms were super sore for a day after that. I cut that down to half hour thinking that's how it read, but what does everyone think of us trying a one hour version of that in the future? Let me know below. In today's workout, we get to lift heavier. And again, if you're just doing body weight or dumbbells at home, no, you're just gonna have to boost your reps to try to equal the same amount of exhaustion you'll get on something heavier. It's a simple five by eight protocol today, one big part, five big movements. We're going five times through, and that'll be it. Okay, so we're pushing to our limits for eight reps. We have the deadlift first. I'm gonna be doing the big barbell deadlift. Again, you can do your kettlebells, dumbbell deadlifts, any variation you have at home. Bench press, I have the barbell, so I'm finally gonna to get to use it on a bench press, dumbbell pressing, or push-up variations for you will work just fine. We have a correctional move, the Y raise is face down on the floor. Tricky, 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 and you don't need much weight for it. A clamshell glute raise off the side will get our stabilizers and glute power helping push through our squats and deadlifts. And then we have overhead press max. So I get to use my log, strong log in the background, and dumbbells, barbells, whatever you have is fine for big, heavy max presses overhead. So a quick little warm up and we'll get into this workout. Okay, for this warm up, get yourself two light dumbbells and a heavier implement that you might end up be deadlifting today. I have the 50 pound kettlebell that we're use for a little deadlift warm up. So we'll start nice and easy here. Let's go super wide leg. Okay, hit hinge your butt back and we're just trying to double pulse the ground and up to start. Double pulse and up. So shift weight back into the heels, get back with the hips like you're doing a deadlift. Pulse, pulse, up. Pulse, pulse, up. Keep doing that. Boom, boom. Okay, now we're gonna add a big backward circle. So down, pulse, pulse, reach high, backwards open the chest, repeat. Pulse, pulse, high, open, big as you can. Down, down, up. And again, all the moves today are double arm at the same time. If you know you have those mobility issues, single dumbbell pressing is gonna benefit you a lot more because if you don't have the range, you can't force it. You'll just end up hurting yourself. Okay, tall posture up. Let's do some of the grass sweeps. Sweep in the meadow grass, sweep in the meadow grass, pulling that opposite toe high, sitting back into the heel, get your butt behind you. Waking up the hip hinge pattern. Yeah, interested to know how everyone did on the barbell challenge and whether I'm thinking none of us are, well, very few of us are peak 21 year old Yale rowers. So I imagine the one hour could be done. Don't know how many of us would survive it. Okay, the Jefferson curl. You can hold one of your dumbbells if you'd like for this. Remember, you gotta squeeze your abs, roll the chin down, everything goes down the body, and you droop the shoulder and find that max limit. Oh, I'm gonna start really tight. I always go 12 reps for some reason. By 12, the body loosens up and you definitely get another inch. Try to keep your legs locked so you know where your hamstring limit is. Oh, and then unwind, uncurl all the way up. Keep going. Now I can touch the floor. Couldn't do that in the first rep. Let's go one more. Oh, good. Dumbbells up. Okay, we're going to a split stance, and this is the uppercut fly. So we're going to lean back slightly, touch the dumbbells, and back down. You can swing if you have to. Try to make it strict. I like to squeeze the dumbbell out front. Squeeze out front. 
Go for 10. Good. Okay, shoulder press. Let's go out nice and wide for this. Up, down. Five, go for 10. And good. Split stance again, the Arnold press. Oh no, those beetles are back. He's flying around. Close, lean back as you close, open, press. Close, open, press. One more, one more. Uh, that's good, good, good. Okay, then we'll do some push-up pattern off the floor. So again, know your limit, you're elevating, you know by now where you're gonna be leaning onto for the push-ups. If you don't have any weight and you need to do very hard push-ups, feet go up on something, so you're down to that dive bomber push-up on floor. Okay, let's do push-up with two arm windmills. So down, come up, Open the arm big. I just call that the arm windmill for some reason. Back into the next push up, up to other side. We'll do a three per side. Down, open, down, open, down, open. Full depth of floor, nice and flat, up and open. Shake that out for a sec. Then we'll do our scap push-up and torsion control. So narrow hands, stable feet, break the shoulder blade, push, shoulder blade, push. Eight, nine, ten. Shake that out. And then torsion taps, boom, boom, without letting the body rotate too much. There it is, good enough for me. Okay, heavy kettlebell implement or heavy dumbbell for a deadlift. We'll do a five slow motion, 10 regular pace. So again, remember our hinge, hinging back, arms follow plumb line straight down to bell, never leaning forward and not squatting. Down, get the weight, brace, come up nice and slow. Down, I'm not gonna touch the floor, just gonna hover so I can keep time under tension here. Just waking everything up. One more slow. Okay, now 10, regular pace. No tempo rules at all today, guys, so go as heavy as you want to your limit. Eight reps should be unbroken. Shouldn't have to stop and shake your hands out. One more here. And we'll get into the first set. So I'm going to set up my bench press. That's your pressing station. That can be off the floor like we know. I'm going to do deadlifts in front. I'll be a little squeeze back here. Log is the press, and I'll figure out where the heck I'm doing my floor exercises. There's two of those. So I'll meet you back in set one. Okay, we're in for set one. Remember, eight reps on the biggest movements, and we'll do a lot more volume on the two floor raises coming up. Here we go. Sumo or regular stance, whatever you want. I'm at 185 for my first eight. Here we go.
Nice and light, no slamming. <laughs> Don't know what that was. That's gonna surge you. I decided to go backwards on the bench so you guys don't have to stare at my crotch this whole time. This will actually be a good view for benching as well. Okay, first important thing, squeeze shoulder blades together on the bench. So wedge them back, wedge them back. I have 155, I'm gonna do really slow for a warm up here. Push up width for hands. Basically zombie arms, straight up, slightly wider will work. Dig those feet down. I like flat back on the bench and the bar comes right in to the sternum chest line. Not too high, not too low. Full depth, full lockout, no half reps and return. Whew. If you guys remember the weight scale trick, do a plank on a weight scale. I know I can get that weight for eight reps, so I started a little light. I think I was about 165. And I'm gonna to try to jump 10 pounds each set on that. So just rolling this out of the way, getting my mat down. Okay, the Y raise, I'm gonna start body weight. And I hope I can make some room here for you guys. So we're down. You might have heard of, am I in the frame here? Might have heard of skydivers. It's just oh, everything up. So this we're going to put nose to floor, elevate with the erectors, arms are to the side, thumbs up. And we're just going for fist touch floor, lift. And you can squeeze your glutes. Uh, and it's very challenging. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Ah, so it's a nice postural correction movement for anyone. We're all hunched over, working at a desk too long. Now I'm going to go into my side plank position, bend the knees, and I'm going to drive. Everything comes up, everything settles back down, up, down. So we're not doing standard little clamshell. It's a full lift, down, lift, down. Starts easy, gets really tough. I'm gonna try for 15, 13, 14, 15. Good, switch into the back side. And everything's down, everything comes up and lifts down. Warning, fifty. So the big meat is your glute max. Little guy that's burning right now is the glute mead and a few other little stabilizers in there. Really important for heavy squat stability and deadlift stability. Press in the back. Here we go. Doing a little dance. I'm crushed today. And you guys move around your space as well. Can I get that bench forward? I'm going to have to press it off the rails here. So I'm gonna get myself a loaded foundation underneath this log. It's a nice neutral grip handle, so the dumbbells are the exact same. Strict <sighs> press up and down. Where's my limit here? This one's pretty heavy, so I don't know if I'm going for eight here. That got ugly. I intended to be freestanding, but my bench is in the way. A little bit of leg push. Last one. No, didn't get it. 
So I need more space. I'll turn that and push press the weight after. Set one done, load the weight up a little heavier for set two, warm up's over, let's get after it. All right, back from the water break, everyone. My deadlift's up to 205, bench is just to 165. Log's about 130, and it's just outside my eight rep range. Less talking this round. Let's go for it. Begin. Eight deadlift. That's that. The bench and an overhead press in the same set are going to eat away at each other. So don't expect both to be as good as you know it to be. Catch my breath for a sec. I'm laying down, getting cozy. Does that not seem straight? Good. Always check your bar marks. Shoulder blades squeeze. Getting the weight going here. Bar is a little crooked. Barbell starts over the nose, comes out over the sternum. There's eight. That'll start to feel a little better as you get into the heavier weight. Okay, bench. You go back for now. Mat comes down. If you're really good at this move, you can use maybe two pound plates, but it's nothing much. Okay, down. So nose on ground, elevate as you get your head off the floor flex the arms, tap the fist, lift, lift, but squeezing. Okay, go into the butterfly raise here. Feel your groin pulling. Oh, the burn. Just off frame, guys, I have a uh, back extension rig. So that Y raise is taking place of what would have been my back extensions today. I'm not going to throw in huge implements that I know no one has. So we'll stick to what everyone can do for the most part. Push through that bottom shin line. Oh, 15. Okay, get the mat out of here. Make way for your press position. Give myself lots of room. Catch your breath a little bit. Still going, audio, check. Okay, I'm gonna take the log and walk it off the rails back here. And I'll start strict and then go for push press. Six, seven, 
That oh, is at my limit. Oh, we did it. All right, water break, breather, meet everyone back for set three. We're back for set three. Like I said a long time ago, I'm trying to place all those ads over the water break. So when you need to move your weights around, adjust the plates, you can just let those ads run, wink, wink, to get ready for the next set. Based on your lifting, if you're going too light, you might expect to breeze through all five sets. If you've gone too heavy, you might expect to come up in the weight and then peel off in the last set. So I've still gone up 225, 175, and we'll see what happens. I know my overhead press is already very tough. Begin. Nice and soft. That's starting to get the heart rate going. Settling into bench here. Good time to catch your breath. Laying it down. Okay, I spot my center, check to make sure the bar is even both sides. I can even reach to make sure I put the right plates on. Both sides, shoulder blade squeezes, grip, grip, dig those feet down. Whoops, get my nose alignment here. Full range of motion. There's eight. Who is the 16 workouts I've been filming? I haven't been able to go to bench press yet. So I'm feeling rather rusty on that. But I'm going to do me, you do you, and we'll get through this volume together. All right, Y raise taking place of a back extension. So you want to feel those erectors firing down. Elevate the body, glutes flexed, feet might even hover off floor. Strong fist. Oh, face the camera first for these. Knees bent. Elevating and opening the top leg. Thirty, forty, fifty. It's a great little accessory lift that does a lot of good for the body that you can catch your breath on. Here we go. Touchdown, touchdown every time. Second side's always harder. Whoa. 15 each. Ooh. Move enough that you keep your heart rate high, but know on the heaviest days, you need to do true stop rest recovers to keep lifting heavier and heavier. When you're in the lighter range, you know you can kind of push that tempo without having to recover too much. This log suffocates me, so forgive me if I take a breath right here. I'll try the same. Four and four. 
And again, I'm, I'm hitting failure on my eighth rep. So with your lighter dumbbells, make sure you do the same. No matter how many reps you have to get to. Walking out. Flex. Maybe 20 seconds this time. Uh, see if we're back for set four. Still trying to catch my breath. Set four, here we go. 245, I'm up to 185. Log staying the same and the accessories are staying the same. Begin. Flipping. Ooh. Yeah, sweaty. Grip's hard to hold on. Oh, lightheaded a little bit. Ah, catch my breath. Ooh. Ooh. Anyone else doing this in a garage or 30 degrees every day. Uh, air conditioning. Oh, winter is coming. Uh, that'll save me. Okay. Squeeze shoulder blades. Get my width. Eight reps. Anyone's benching at home by themselves, never put your clips on so you can escape if you get stuck. Woo! Get this out of the way. That's almost my limit. It's been a while. Okay, I gotta set that up right there so my hand doesn't get stuck. Woo. Down on floor for the Y raise. This time, let's try to hover the whole body off the ground. All the extremities. So back erectors fire, glute fires, toes point down or point back. Thirteen, forty, fifteen. Ah, uh, okay. What do I got? Face backwards first. Oh, things are getting sticky now. What's happening here? Begin. Oh, I hate the mic. I hate this fanny pack. I'm in the market for a new one. 
Oh, starting to drip. Wire just sticks to me. Go. The hip comes forward like you're pushing against an invisible wall. Oh, sweat towel, sweat towel, sweat towel. Needed. Oh. And now my bench is definitely eating into my overhead press strength. You should feel the same. And I'm just decaying. So I might go four and three here this time. Ooh. Audio, audio, check. Oh. Okay. No, three. Ooh, it called there. Yeah. Calling it too heavy, too sloppy. Oh, recover. Decide what you want to do for your weights. One more set to go, and we're finito. We're back everyone, set five. I'm keeping everything the same because my sweaty grip slip in here and I can't make that log any lighter. So let's get into it, be safe. Form first, weight second. Everything perfect. Regrip. Oh, slippery. Oh, that might be from the Yale barbell thing still. My grip is fatigued. Wipe the sweat off. And again, if you don't sound like me right now, you're not doing enough. You can't just blast a light kettlebell eight times eight push-ups and be done with it. It's gotta be extreme to the limit. Whew. Whew, that's tough. All right. I'm not sure about this bench either. Shoulder blades tuck under. Dig the feet in. a battle Whoa. okay oh oh make room for the mat mat on the floor I'm gonna go wave can you see my legs yeah you can see my legs same thing, keep the chest up and off. 
squeeze your glutes, quads. Oh, why is that so ridiculous? Okay, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Oh, flush. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Oh, I'm not the best at those, so take that move to your full range of motion. Two, three, hit my head. Right down. Thirteen. Oh, I'm dying. Fourteen. Fifteen. Brutal. Oh. Oh. I don't know if you can see in frame. I got a whole wall of weightlifting belts over there that I'd love to slap on for this press, but I'm trying to keep things plain and simple for the first little while. But if you have belts and you're late into your workout, by all means, start assisting if you want to. Otherwise, you just, we gotta train up our core Stability, rigidity to handle big weight without strapping brace measurements onto them. Whew. All right, this is it. Maybe just five reps to freedom here. If you guys are finished already, applaud me on. Otherwise, max, max your reps out. Oh. Square that up. Ooh, make a nice shelf. That's, that's off of a shoulder press. Wasn't even burpees or anything. Okay. You know the drill, I appreciate you all. Special request, is there any, anyone, parent and kid doing these circuits? Mom or dad, mom, daughter, father, son. Is there anyone in their garage running a mini circuit following along? I'd love to hear about it. See everyone back for workout 17.